Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ananya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be telling you about echo test and stress test. Before starting the video, I would like you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, so that I can share all the useful and valuable information with you. As you know, your heart is one of the most important organs of your body. It is essentially a pump which is made up of muscles and has four chambers. In recent years, there has been a huge spike in number of cardiac or heart diseases. Every day in the emergency department, a huge number of patients come up with a chief complaint of chest pain. It becomes difficult for the doctors to interpret and diagnose what is the problem. But thanks to the medical technology that we have developed a lot of machines and tests which can help us to diagnose better. So if you have any heart condition or sometimes if you go for a regular heart checkup, your doctor might ask you to get your echo test or stress test done. So before understanding the differences between the two tests, let us understand what is echo test and what is a stress test and how is it done and everything about it. Echo test is basically known as echocardiography. Nowadays, we have 2D echocardiography that is two-dimensional echocardiography or 3D echocardiography that is three-dimensional echocardiography. It is very useful imaging method because of its ease of access and availability. Most of the time, it is painless and there are no risks associated with it. How does the echo test help doctor? The echo test can help doctor to get the information about the clots in the blood, about the problems in the aorta which is the main artery connected to the heart, about the fluid which can be filled around the sac of your heart, or if there is any pumping problem with the heart and its walls. In echo, we get live images because of the sound waves. The live images which we get are known as echocardiogram. The echocardiogram is key in determining the heart health, especially the muscles. It can also reveal the heart defects in unborn babies. Now why your doctor may ask you to get an echocardiogram? Your doctor may order one if he notices any abnormality in the heart sounds, means the in the heart beats. Also, if you show any signs or symptoms such as shortness of breath or chest pain. Sometimes by mistake, doctor can also observe some changes in your heartbeat and may ask you to get an echocardiogram. Getting ready for the test is very easy. You need not prepare anything. You can have your medications which you have, but make sure you inform your doctor about all the medications which you have, including the OTCs, which is over-the-counter medicines. Also, it is very important to tell your doctor if you have a pacemaker placed. It is usually not painful and there are no risks associated with it. So how is this test done? How is an echo done? An echo is very simple, as I told you. You will basically be asked to lie on the bed or the table. Your doctor or your radiologist might put a gel on your chest. Before putting the gel, your doctor might ask you to take off your gown or shirt. After putting the gel, the doctor will take the transducer or the probe and put the same gel on the transducer and will place the transducer on their chest to get the live images. You might feel a slight pressure of the transducer. Sometimes a doctor might ask you to change the positions or the doctor might also ask you to hold your breath or breathe rapidly or sniff through your nose to get the better pictures. If it is hard to get the structures or see the structures of the heart, your doctor might ask you to get IV contrast. But don't worry, this IV is not iodine based so you will not get any allergy. It is just a dye which is used for medical purpose. Sounds are part of Doppler signal, so sometimes you might hear a sound or sometimes not. It usually takes 40 minutes to one hour for the test to get done. After the test, your doctor might review the images and might have a talk with you. The results may reveal about the following abnormalities, such as damage of the heart muscles, heart defects, change in size of the cardiac chambers, stiffness of the heart, it can also tell if there are any valve problems or if there are any clots in the heart. If you are diagnosed with any of the conditions, your doctor might ask you to get some other test. Also, your doctor might talk with you and develop a better treatment plan for you. Now, let's talk about stress test. A stress test, as the name suggests, it basically tells how much stress can your heart take. Your heart pumps faster when you exercise. Some diseases are easier to find when your heart is at work. So when your heart is working hard, it is sometimes easier to check for the diseases. 
That's why we do this stress test. So how do we make our heartbeat faster? In this test, we basically ask the patient to walk on the treadmill or a stationary bicycle. The stress test has a lot of different names. It is also known as DMT test or stress EKG or nuclear stress test. So for what diseases do we use this test? We use these tests to rule out or diagnose various diseases including erythemia and coronary artery diseases. Coronary artery disease is a disease in which a waxy substance called as plague develops in the arteries which makes it difficult for your heart to pump the blood. It may also be helpful to diagnose arrhythmia. In arrhythmia, you have irregular heartbeats. Also, for a large number of people, to find out which level of exercise is safe for them, this test is used. Also, sometimes this test is used to find out how much risk do you have of heart attack. Now, why do you need this test? You may need a stress test done if you show some symptoms of reduced blood supply. For example, if you show signs and symptoms of angina. Angina is basically chest pain or discomfort caused by reduced blood flow. Or if you have rapid heartbeat because of no reason. Or if you have shortness of breath. Also, if you are planning to start an exercise program or if you had recent heart surgery, your doctor might ask you to get a stress test done. Sometimes if you have a family history of heart attack, then it is advised you to get your test done. So what happens during the test? This test is also simple. During the exercise stress test, your doctor or your healthcare provider will place a small probes on your chest, arms and legs. If you have excess hair on your arm, chest or legs, you might need to take them off. The probes are the small electrodes that sticks to your skin. The electrodes are then connected to the EKG machine with the help of wires or leads. Then your doctor might ask you to walk on the treadmill in a certain speed for a certain amount of time. After the test is done, sometimes you may develop some dizziness or chest pain. But that's okay, you need not worry because the test is done in a very safe environment in front of doctors. After the test is done, you might be monitored for 10 to 15 minutes in front of the doctors until your heartbeat becomes normal. So, do you need to prepare anything for this test? For this test, you should try to wear something comfortable. Also, try to wear some comfortable shoes. Your doctor might ask you not to drink or eat for several hours before the test. So, are there any risks of the test? As I told you, this test is very simple as you just need to exercise. It means you just need to walk a bicycle for a certain amount of time with the electrodes placed on your skin. It is very safe. Now, let's come to the results. If you get normal results, it means there is no problem with the blood flow. But if your results are abnormal, it means there is some problem with the blood flow which may be coronary artery disease or arrhythmia. Now, the doctor might talk to you to find out the reason of the reduced blood flow. It may be because of the previous heart attack, it may be because of the family history, or it may be because of the plague. Now, I hope you got very good understanding about echo test and the stress test. Let us see what is the difference between both of the tests. Basically, echo test tells about the health of the heart muscles, about its pumping function and valve-related problems or if there are any birth defects such as hole in the heart. So, echo tells about the damage and stress test tells about how your heart can handle the pressure. Now, depending on your symptoms and the signs, your doctor may ask you to get one of them done or get both of the done. Before ending the video, I would like to tell a very important thing. It is necessary to get your test done at reputed and reliable lab. A link to the reputed and reliable lab will be provided to you in the description box. That's all for today's video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment. Stay safe and stay healthy.